Hello my friends, it's Rune again from Oslo, Norway. Today with a ear pistol video. BB pistol, correctly. DC Powerline 415. Here in Europe it comes in a box. In the US it comes as a blister pack. And first time ever user manual in Norwegian. NO. That's the first time ever I have seen it. So, uh, plastic fantastic. Double action only trigger pull. Magazine sits on the top. Pull the magazine forward, forward. Hook it in place there. Load up with BBs through that hole there. It takes 21 BBs. Fiber optic front sight. Non adjustable rear sight. So, uh, looks quite uh, cool. Almost like a 9mm or something. It uses CO2 canister as a power source. You pull down the bottom, bottom part of the grip, like so. And you have a screw here. For tightening the CO2 canister, CO2 canister goes down there. Let me just take some oil on that uh, screw threads there. I'm using Umarex CO2 canister. So um, let's see. See if I can tighten it with my shitty artistic fingers. If not, I have to use a pair of pliers. I think I heard a small hiss. Just to be safe, let me. Yeah. Like so. So, safety. Now it's on safe. Now it's on fire. Let me put it on safe. We can load up the magazine. As I said, pull the magazine over forward. Hook it down in the front there. Then pour the BBs down through that hole that is visible there. about it. Make sure you release that follower otherwise the BBs will uh, roll out. You can see them stack up nicely. So yeah, let's uh, see what sort of uh, chrono numbers it will give. Outside temperature now is about 16 degrees Celsius, 62 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see if my Caldwell Crony can uh, give us some Crony numbers. So let's see if my Crony can give us some Crony numbers. Take it off safe. Let's see if it works. 5.4 grain, still needs. Four sixty-six. Four fifty nine, four fifty two. Let's take one more. Four sixty nine. Taking some shots at the target there. The range will be about six, seven meters.
to the home. Babies were starting flying straight and then they veered off to the side there. Many of them. I was aiming dead in the center, just where the eight, figure eight is. So yeah. Not good. But let me load up again. See if we can hit the, this uh, tin can. Since it's spread so bad at uh, 7 meters, I will uh, stand at about 4 meters now. So let's see if we can hit that tin can. We sure could exit hole and some entry holes. There. Only one went out the back, although it was a dent. No. Yeah. So, load it up for the third time, and I think uh, after that magazine I will stop. Take it off safe. So let's see. From where I'm standing now, it's about uh, six meters, six and a half meters to the can. Yeah, the can fell down. Just a shot into the trap there. And the magazine is empty. Well, not the most accurate uh, pistol uh, in the world. But uh, I managed to hit the tin can with uh, just about every shot, I think. I think maybe only two shots missed the can. But as you can see, it uh, really hammered it. It's not like a super sturdy tin can, but uh, it's a tin can, not a pop can. And if you're wondering about the size, well, I can hide it inside my hand. That's how small it is. So, uh, can I recommend it? Well, sure, it's uh, very cheap, even here in Norway. 
price is like uh, 700 Norwegian crowns that's about 70 US dollars I bet in uh, America it is even cheaper so yeah why not why not so I'm thinking I will bring it uh, down into the woods and do some plinking uh, in wood woodland settings so yeah but it is not a long range pistol that's for sure so I would say from five meters and less less is better <laughs> so yeah 469 feet per second was the best I got from it but uh, after all it's uh, not exactly warm here and CO2 gas is uh, a very ten temperature sensitive it needs warmer temperature to perform best so yeah fun planking gun so uh, by the way little shout out Less Lethal Interviews. Make sure you check him out. Yeah. Okay. Hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.